hello my dear students welcome back to one more lecture on econometrics in last two classes we have been discussing the dummy variable regression model in the first lecture we discussed how we can incorporate the effects of a qualitative variable in a regression model okay and in the second class or in the second video we discussed how we can incorporate the effects of two or more qualitative variables as well as two or more qualitative variable and quantitative variable in our regression model called ANOVA and ANCOVA model okay then we have also seen how we can interpret this result okay and you should keep in mind that the regression results especially the dummy the dummy variable regression, regression result will be interpreted in a different way compared to the uh, actual regression or traditional regression model okay so that you have to be keep in mind today in this session what i'm going to discuss with you is how or what are the uses of the dummy variable dummy variable has a large number of different uses both in economic research and in other allied subjects okay so let me list out some of the major objective of this dummy variable regression model okay so the first one or the first major use that we have discussed already it is to incorporate the effects of qualitative variable the dummy variable regression model allow us to incorporate the effect of qualitative variable it has two types ANOVA models and ANCOVA models okay so this will allow us to include both qualitative and quantitative variable in a regression model okay and the second one is the interaction effect the interaction effect means sometime there may be an interaction between two dummies okay and sometime there may be an interaction between a dummy and a quantitative variables that we will see later okay so in order to include this interaction effect in our regression model this dummy variable can be or it the dummy variable help us to include this interaction effects okay then the third one is there is a celebrated test called chow test and the chow test is uh, used to check the stability of your regression model or to check the structural stability of your regression model okay and the chow test has a uh, lots of limitations and dummy variable can be used to overcome these limitations of this chow test and dummy variable help us to measure or to check whether there is a structural instability in a regression model or not and the fourth one is the dummy variable regression model help us to de-seasonalize the quarterly and monthly data even though there are large number of different methods are available for de-seasonalizing the monthly or quarterly data okay and dummy variable is also provide an alternative method and last one um, the dummy variable help us to measure or to find out the coefficients of piecewise linear regression models okay so we will discuss all these things one by one okay so the first thing we will we won't discuss because it is already discussed and the second things we are going to see what is interaction effect okay yes look at the example the example that we have seen previously okay y is equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 d 1 plus beta 2 d 2 plus beta 3 x plus u what this equation size the equation tell us the wage rate is a function of gender 
then caste, then experience, and some other factors. Okay. Then, as you know, D1 is equal to 1 if males and D2 is equal to 1 for upper class. Okay. And D1 0 female and D2 0 lower class. Okay. So, in this regression model, we have assumed a uh, we have we have a assumption uh, when we when we estimate this regression model the assumption that okay and this beta 1 is the differential intercept coefficient about gender okay and this beta 2 is the differential intercept coefficient of caste okay then the assumption that this this differential effect of this gender dummy is constant across two categories of caste and the differential effects of this caste dummy d2 is also constant across two sexes what it says that it says that when whenever when we interpret this result we assume that when we interpret the beta 1 coefficient, beta 1 is the coefficient of gender. Okay. So, when we interpret this gem, uh, gender dummy, we assume that the caste dummy is constant. Okay. Then, when we interpret this caste dummy, we assume that the gender dummy is also constant. Okay. So, if there is no caste differences, then this is the average difference between the average wages of male and female. That was the interpretation that we have given to this gender dummy. Then when we interpret this caste dummy, we said that if there is no gender differences, then this is the, uh, this is the average wage rate in the, uh, this is the average difference in the wage rate between two caste upper class and or upper caste and lower caste okay yeah so but the thing is that this assumption may not be valid in reality okay sometime there may be an interaction between two qualitative variable what we mean by interaction interaction means here beta 1 beta 2 or d1 d2 it is having two categories gender male and female caste upper caste and upper caste and the lower caste here four type of interaction is possible what are the interactions first interaction male female sorry not male female uh, male upper class male lower class female upper class female lower class this is what is called interactions okay then due to this interaction sometime the lower class male may get lower wage that of the upper class female what does it mean upper class females are getting more wage than the lower class male even though males are getting very high wage rate but there may be a possible thing that the upper class female may get the higher wage than the lower caste male okay so if you want to do if you want to check if there is this kind of an interaction between these two dummy variables we can have and we can include a variable called interaction dummy okay so how we can include the interaction dummy this interaction dummy or interaction effect of this gender and caste can be uh, simply uh, explain or simply put d1 into d2 or we can we can express this d1 and d2 in a multiplicative process okay so how can how we can do that we check it here 
look at here y beta 0 plus beta 1 d1 plus beta 2 d2 plus beta 4 x plus u in between this a new variable called d1 multiplied by d2 is appearing okay so this is what we call the interaction variable here what we are assuming there may be sometime a possible interaction between this male and caste so in order to capture whether this whether uh, if there is interaction between these two variable we are including a new variable called d1 into d2 and we are giving a new coefficient beta 3 okay so our equation our equation is now y is equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 d1 plus beta 2 d2 plus beta 3 d1 d2 plus beta 4 x plus u okay now as you know that here also d1 is equal to male d1 is equal to 1 male d1 is equal to 0 female d2 is equal to 1 upper class and d2 is equal to 0 lower class okay then what will be the average wage rate of those people this people who is this people d1 is equal to 1 d2 is also equal to 1 who will be this people 1 1 1 1 will be male then upper class upper class male okay then you just give 1 in the in the space of d1 d2 and d1 d2 okay so what will be the equation beta 0 plus beta 1 plus beta 2 plus beta 3 plus and beta 4 x d1 into d2 1 into 1 will become 1 okay so if you add all these coefficient you will get the average wage rate of upper class male okay then if you do if you just put 1 for d1 and 0 for d2 what you will get d1 is equal to 1 so beta 0 beta 1 this term will be go because we are giving 0 here and since d2 is equal to 0 this term will also goes so only beta 0 plus beta 1 plus beta 4 x who will be this people lower class male 1 is male 0 is lower class so lower class male next one 0 1 who is 0 0 means female 1 is upper class so upper class female okay so their average will be beta 0 plus beta 1 will be 0 so beta 2 then d1 into d2 will also 0 so beta 0 plus beta 2 plus beta 4x okay now you give both 0 d1 is 0 d2 is also 0 so d1 into d2 will also 0 okay so 0 0 0 everything will cancel out and only this beta 0 and the last term will be there so beta 0 plus beta 4x this will be the lower female that both are 0 female lower class so it will be lower class female okay and this will be applicable to all because this is the slope coefficient we are here we are considering the experience as an additional uh, influential way or additional explanatory variable okay so what is this uh, each coefficient will tell you the beta 1 will give you the differential effect of being male what is the difference between male and female okay beta 2 will give us what is the differential effects of being in upper class or the difference between upper class and the lower class and this beta 3 will give you 
the differential effects of being upper class male that means upper class male and lower class male so lower class yeah upper class male and uh, lower class females or differential effects of being upper class male okay so we will see each one uh, later okay yes so let me take an example of this let's see how this will change or how we can calculate all these effects using an example let me take an example yeah yes look at this well the same example there are wages is yeah 49 people are there or that uh, 49 respondents or labors are there okay t1 we assign one for male and zero for female d2 we have assigned one for upper class and zero for lower class okay yes then what is d1 d2 it is nothing but this dummy multiplied by this dummy this dummy multiplied by this dummy okay yes so all the term will be zero except one this would be male upper class male upper class if you just sort if you just filter this uh, values for one then what you will get you will get the upper class male okay that's why we are saying d1 and d2 coefficient or beta 3 coefficient will give you the differential effects of being upper class male okay yes now how we can find out the average value of each category okay yes so uh, male upper class then yeah let's see this is one this is also one yes this is what we called upper class male what is their average wage 2246.66 2246.66 okay now if you change this into zero okay who is this fellows one zero one is male zero is lower class okay then their average salary is around 1950 1950 okay then if you click this as one and click this as zero then who is this zero one zero is female okay zero is female then one is upper class okay their salary or their wage rate is around 1534 1534.4 one, and last one both are zero okay and who's this fellows both are zero female lower class okay look at their average salary look at here 1506 okay yes now what we have done is we have calculated the differential effects of all the possible interactions 
okay the interaction means male upper class male lower class then female upper class female lower class this is what we call interaction okay yes yes okay now what we do what we do is you look at this uh, we are going to estimate this data using excel so this is what we have done is the manual operation we have done it manually okay so you don't need to do this manually the dummy variable will help you to do this how 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 to do this go to data data analysis regression okay you select the w okay then you select the x range as this three dummies then click ok the label is there ok ok so we have got this we are just selecting this ok so let me put it here ok so we have got intercept is 1506 look at this female lower class it is 1506 okay yes then how we are getting all these values so only this value we can observe from these values and we cannot observe directly observe this value anywhere here because all these values are differences between which category that we are going to see okay yes so the first category is male upper class and male lower class okay so male upper class and male lower class what is the difference this is the male lower class this is the male upper class you just subtract it you are getting uh, sorry minus yes 296 you are getting 296 okay then next one male upper class and female upper class okay so this and this is equal to this is the male upper class this is the female upper class the difference is 7 1 2 okay now male upper class and female lower class what is the difference this minus this 740 okay now male second one okay male lower class this with this male lower class and the female upper class so this is the male upper lower class minus this is the female upper class the difference is around 415 okay yes now male lower class and the female upper class and male lower class and female lower class this is the male upper class lower class is the female lower class the value is 443.4 4, now you see this value you can see here okay and this value you can see here also 
So we have got two points or two values we have identified. Now the third one, next one, female upper class, okay, and female lower class. This is the female upper class minus this is the female lower class. Yes, 27.8. 27.8. Okay. This also you can observe here. Okay. So, you have to understand what this D1 and D2 will give. What is the beta? This is beta 0. Beta 1 beta 2 and beta 3. The beta 0 will give you the value in which you have assigned 0 and 0. If both are 0, then it will give you the average value of this particular groups. Here 0 means female, then another 0 means lower class. So, this is the female lower class, average wage of the female lower class. Okay, yes. Now, this beta 1 is 443. Who is this 443? The difference between male lower class and female lower class. Male lower class and female lower class. Who is the male lower class? Male lower means 1, 1 is male and 0 and 0 0 this male lower means 1 0 and female lower means 0 0 okay so 0 comma 0 the next one d2 is 27 uh, 27 who is this 27 female upper class okay female means 0, upper class means 1, then who is this? Female lower class, 0, comma, 0. Now you just understand. What is this beta 1 will give you? Beta 1 will give you the difference between male lower class and female lower class. Okay? Then beta 2 will give you the difference between female upper class and female lower class. Okay. So, it is basically the difference between 1 0 0 0 and 0 1 0 0. Okay. Yes. Now, what is this D1 and D2? It is 268. It is so 268. Okay. So, how we can get 268 from here? So, you just, this is 296, you just minus this. We are getting the 268. Who is this 268? This is the difference between male upper and male lower and female upper and female lower it is basically the difference of the difference okay so it is the difference of the actually the male upper class and male lower class the difference is 296 the female upper class and female lower class is 27.8 and this 268 is the difference between MU, male upper class and male lower class and female upper class and the female or the difference between male and male upper class and female, uh, female, female uh, male upper class and the male lower class it is 296 and female upper class and female lower class 270 and this is basically the difference between these two okay so we have find out all this coefficient manually 
okay then we have found all these things uh, using excel also okay so this is what we called the finding of uh, finding of the interaction effects okay now if you have more than three variables still you can find out the interaction in the same way okay yes yes so now we are moving to the next model this is little we are going little bit advanced okay here what i am going to show you yeah interaction yeah the interaction effect of slope coefficient of quantitative variables okay so so far in our analysis we assume that the slope coefficient of the quantitative variable regresses or experience remain the same between male and female male and um, between upper class and lower class okay so we had included a quantitative variable in a model called experience we assume that whenever the experience increases the wages for male and female will increase in the same manner on the same way that the slope coefficient will remain the same for both gender group similarly whenever the wage rate uh, experience increases irrespective of the caste group the wages of this lower class and upper class will increase in the same manner okay we have got 19 okay earlier we have got 19 it means that whenever one year of additional experience attained by any employees irrespective of their gender and caste their average will be, wage will be increased by 19 rupees okay but reality this will not be the case okay whenever the experience increases sometime the wages of this female and male may increase in a different fashion and in a different way but in a dissimilar way sometimes the wage the wages of male may be increased more than that of the female for one additional year of experience similarly for upper class people they if they are having one year of additional experience their wage may be increased more than that of their counterpart called lower class okay so if we want to check this this can be done using the dummy variable model or interactive dummy models okay how we can do that look at the equation y is equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 d1 plus beta 2 d2 plus beta 3 x okay this is the similar thing but after this there is additional value additional coefficient beta for d1 x plus beta 5 d2 x plus u what what we are doing here here we are adding an additional exponential variable by multiplying the dummy with this experience okay yes and here this beta 1 beta 2 these are called differential indices dummies whereas beta 4 and beta 5 are called differential slope dummies now you different now we have two different types of slope coefficient here differential index of dummies as well as differential slope dummies okay differential dummy dummy uh, coefficient will give you the differences in the between two categories whereas differential slope coefficient will uh, slope dummies will give you the differences in the changes 
okay that that I'll, I'll show you the uh, when we do the analysis okay and this beta 4 tell us how the rate of average weight will change for male okay so it tell us how the rate of average weight changes for a male is different for female it is basically the difference between the male coefficient and female coefficient okay and beta phi tell us how the rate of average weight changes for upper class is different for the lower class people okay so let me let us see how we can do this problem i'm taking the same example okay but i'm just adding one more variable called the experience okay so look at this data this is d1 and this is d2 okay and this is experience okay so what i am going to do i am going to include two more multiplicated dummy with quantity variable okay so this is d1x okay or d1ex and d2ex is equal to d1 this is d1 and this is experience okay just do it for all okay then this is d2 into experience we have created two more variable interaction dummies but here the interaction is not between two dummies but with one dummy and one quantitative variable is it okay yes now what we do is go to data analysis regression this is our wage okay and this is our independent variables okay yes yes look at these values okay what these will tell you okay so look at the i am no i am not going to interpret all these because we already interpret these things okay so i will only stick on these things okay so d1x d1 was male female difference okay and for which we have assigned female for zero and one for male okay so what is this minus 36 is basically the difference between slope the slope difference between male and female that means compared to females okay males are getting 36 rupees short or they are getting only and they are getting uh, females are getting more than 36 rupees than or 30 rupees than the males or males are getting only males are getting less minus 36 less 36 rupees compared to their females okay but here whenever there is one year of additional experience okay the upper class people are getting more than 29 rupees it means that uh, if the average the wage rate was around 1500 he was a male and this was a lady okay then for this fellow when one additional year of experience will provide okay only 146 1463 rupees but for female it will increase to 
yeah. Okay. Male salary will be increased to 1463 and female salary will be increased to 1386. Okay. Yes. But for this, but for upper class, lower class people, whenever one year of additional experience will be there, the upper class people will always have an extra amount of 29 rupees compared to their uh, lower class peoples. Okay, so this way we can interpret the result. But you look at these coefficients. Okay, none of this coefficient. Okay, all this these coefficients are not significant. Okay. Only these two coefficients are significant. So we cannot interpret the result. Okay. So we cannot, uh, yeah, these coefficients are not significant. Significant. Okay. Okay. Anyway, this is the technique of including or incorporating the interaction effects of between qualitative variable and quantitative variables. Is it okay? Yes. So I hope it is understood. Okay. So this this way we can include the interaction effects between two dummies as well as the interaction effect between one dummy or dummy and with quantitative variables. Okay. So if the interaction is between one dummy and one quantitative variable, then you will have differential intercept coefficients and differential slope coefficients. Okay. Yes. So this is all about today's session and I will come with the second or the third uses in the next video. Okay. Okay. Thank you.